Welcome to another episode of Tech Drill. Today we are going to discuss about GitHub Copilot with user defined coding instructions. In this video, we will be discussing how to set up the coding instructions in VS Code, how to generate code directly using your instructions, how to move this coding instruction into your GitHub repository and use the same instructions to generate code as part of GitHub Copilot chat on github.com. Coding instructions helps you to guide GitHub Copilot to generate the code according to your requirements. Let us start with uh, setting up coding instructions in VS Code. I have a application open here, real estate application in VS Code. For setting the coding instructions in VS Code, navigate to settings tab in VS Code and navigate to the preview features under GitHub Copilot chat. You can observe the first one here that is GitHub Copilot chat code instructions. This instructions play a role when you deal with GitHub Copilot chat. This instructions will not be used by Copilot for code completion in your editor. As it mentioned as part of the settings, you need to create a Copilot instructions.md file under .github and add all your instructions as part of that. So let me just enable this as part of the settings and move to the explorer under .github let us add the new file that is copilot instructions.md. It's an empty file right now. I'm going to use GitHub Copilot for generating coding instructions based on my requirement. I have defined some conditions for Python and .NET. Let me see how Copilot is arranging that as a coding instruction here. Once it's available, just adding back to my copilot instructions.md file. If you notice for Python, the functions should use camel keys and each function should have a doc string and a specific line for identifying it's generated by copilot and myself. And for .NET, again developed by this one is needed and it should use Pascal keys and local variables should start with underscore and for magic numbers, use the proper variable or constant try catch block for all methods. These are the coding instructions I have came up with. We have done with the coding instruction setup. Let us navigate to the file for modification. I'm going to open the validation.py and asking copilot to generate add a new function for finding the area of a circle. This is what I needed. It's finding the area of the circle, but if you notice, it's not aligned to what we expected. It's not coding instruction. The PY file should have some other camel case and it should have a documentation generated by Ampli and Copilot. Nothing is aligned to that. Let us go ahead and debug what went wrong. Here the issue is instead of adding under dot github, I have added under dot github slash workflows. So the Copilot instruction needs to move into dot github. So I'm just moving that upward. Now Workflows is different directory under dot github we have copilot instructions dot empty. The file is available right now here and I hope now it will start working properly. Let me ask the exactly the same question. And if you noticed we have the references added the copilot instruction came as part of the reference along with the current file or the current context we supplied in the previous case we have only the current file no instruction here it's used only one reference in the previous case but right now 
Once we moved the instruction under .github, Copilot picked that as part of the reference and generated the code properly. It's added the doc string. It's taken care of the pi value that is a magic number and it's added the comment generated by Ampli and Git Copilot. This is what we needed. So let me just take this entire thing. Either I can directly add it or just copy it and paste it as it's an exist existing file. I just copy paste it here. This is not required. That is an existing one. And I need to import the math at the top. So small changes are done and it's aligned. Even this naming convention and doc string generated by Ampli and Copilot all looks fine. Let me try with the next instruction that is a .NET coding instruction by adding a new file here sample.cs and as copilot generate a class for assure blobs storage file upload and download so a class with the two functions are expected here also you can observe that it's taken the coding instruction as one of the reference along with the currently provided file it's used um, underscore for the local variable that is one of the coding instruction and it's added developed by Ampli KK that's a comment I expected for each of the methods and the try catch block for every method if you are not specified that it may or may not add try catch for all the method currently I have requested copilot to follow this instruction to add try catch for all the methods you can enhance the coding standard for each of the technologies and even you can add general instructions which can be applied for all technologies. Let me go ahead and commit all these things to the repository. I'm taking Copilot to generate the commit message. It's generated the commit message properly. Let me just commit it sync the changes let us move to the repository level so before going to the repository in the recent two days before github announced that the custom instruction availability as part of github.com that is what exactly we are going to use right now it's in public preview let me go to my repository it's a real estate, the exactly the same thing. Under GitHub, we have the copilot instructions which we defined here. Going back to the real estate and starting a new chat with copilot. I can ask copilot by attaching a .py file. Let me just add .py, verify and asking add a function to find the as it's a verify validate address and phone number so i need a function for this purpose it's a python function i'm expecting copilot to use the coding standard which we defined so it's picked the copilot instructions and added the doc string here and also generated by Ampli KK and Copilot that's what it's added let us try with a CS file I'm starting a new chat and attaching a CS file dot CS there is a verifier dot CS under the util class I just attach that one or even you don't need to attach anything you can specify that um, create a c -sharp class for validations at methods for email and phone validation using regex so let us see how it's taking the 
coding instruction as part of this um, class generation as you can observe that it's uh, taken developed by ampli kk and try catch for the method it's used the camel case or pascal case whatever the case we specified and try catch for the phone number also it's added this is how you can enforce the coding instruction let us modify the copilot instructions i'm just removing everything adding some bullet list for python functions should start with f u n underscore dot net methods should start with exp underscore something so these are the new coding instructions for copilot let me just commit this one let us go to the repository and take the copilot a new instance and ask copilot to generate dot net method for checking prime or not here we ask copilot to use x exp underscore for each of the method names it's taken the reference here copilot instructions let me ask the same question with python function and in python we have asked copilot to use fun underscore as the naming convention you can modify the coding instruction in github.com and trigger the code generation based on that instructions try out with your different instruction how you can generate more accurate and aligned code with the help of github copilot let us connect with a another exciting topic soon thank you